Welcome to the Hannah Carpentry Workshop. Inspired by a tape talk, I saw some chairs and thought, damn, I can do those chairs, but better. And here we are. Just look at these museum-worthy pieces. Let's dive into the build. Starting with the frame, which is made from Canadian hard maple source from Quebec. Precise cuts with the table saw and bandsaw were crucial for both stability and support. It's essential that all parts match in measurements as the build progresses. Here are our aprons. Look at this shot. A handy trick is cutting all pieces at the same time with the bandsaw, saving you time and effort. In this shot, the outline from the legs of the chair begins to emerge, hinting at the beauty of the finished product. Here are the seats. We're presented with raw black walnut lumber locally sourced from Ontario, Canada, full of potential, awaiting transformation. As the milling process begins, the wood takes on new life, revealing its true beauty. Moving on to the spline inlays, we have hard maple again. Intricate detailing adds depth and character to the design. Here you can see the book match grain and sap lines come to life, showcasing nature's artistry. To keep all the joinery in place during the glue-up process, I relied on the precision of the Festool Domino joiner. Its accurate mortise and tenon joinery ensured that every piece stayed aligned as the glue set. Beginning with the back support, we start by milling down a paste source from Brazil for the risers to exact specs. Using a drill press and jig, precise holes are created to accommodate the assembly process of our chair back. The dowel maker shaved down maple that was fed through the jig, producing perfectly sized dowels. These dowels were then carefully inserted into pre-drilled holes in each riser, providing precise alignment and stability for the back support assembly. This method ensured a secure bond between each component, contributing to the overall structural integrity of the chair back. Next, I made alignment pins to marry the chair back components to the top and bottom rails, ensuring a precise fit. These alignment pins were meticulously crafted with a plug cutter for perfect compatibility with their corresponding holes. This step was crucial for maintaining correct alignment and securing the back support firmly to the top and bottom rails. I made a custom back splat made from map a burl source from Europe. Once in place, the entire back assembly became a cohesive unit, ready for final assembly with the rest of the chair. Look at this shot where the Festool Domino was used to dry fit the rear styles to the chair seat. Precise mortises and tenons ensured a perfect fit. At this point, I also dry fit the chair back, aprons and mark my alignments. This ensured everything was properly aligned and stable before final assembly. With all components cut into line, I introduced the 45 degree bevel using the Freud router bit. This bit created precise and clean chamfers on the edges, enhancing the chair's aesthetic. As the bevels caught the light, intricate shadows of depth and dimension to the design. On the table, the many pieces are laid out, each one tidy and waiting to be assembled. It's a sight to behold, a puzzle of craftsmanship waiting to come together into something extraordinary. Next, assembly begins again, this time for final tolerances, while still dry fitted. Sensitive areas are taped up once more to protect against any potential glue mishaps. This meticulous approach ensures that every detail is carefully attended to before the final assembly. After the glue up and clamps are removed, out pop these magnificent specimens. But hold your horses, because we're not done just yet. Now it's time to fix any imperfections, sanding to 150 grit. We then introduce a water popping technique to enhance the grain, followed by a quick sand smooth. Just look at these beauties. The final step was to hand rub each chair with the ligna, a moment of artistry in itself. Employing a unique technique with the pad, I ensured slow strokes. A crucial tip I have for you, ensure full coverage, even on the underside. This comprehensive approach not only protects every surface, but also ensures a uniform and professional finish, highlighting the wood's natural beauty from every angle. After years of running Hannah Carpentry and woodworking, I couldn't help but feel an overwhelming sense of pride. These chairs represent the culmination of countless hours of dedication, learning, and honing my craft. Each step of the process was a testament to my passion for woodworking, and seeing these fills me with a profound sense of accomplishment. These chairs are not just furniture, they're a tangible representation of my journey in life, and I couldn't be prouder of the result. Now, I have to ask, did you enjoy this build as much as I did? Your feedback means the world to me, so don't be shy, 
let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on future projects.